The merch truck is still here. Opens up at 12. People are excited. Aren't you all excited? Yay! They're like so tight. It's, it's early. They drove hours to be here, so no shame in their game. But they're excited because the concert's finally here. They've waited months. Uh, and if you weren't so lucky to get tickets, like the 120,000 people that have tickets to the two sold out shows, the only place you can get them, 101.3 KDWB iHeartRadio has been giving away free T-Swift tickets for weeks now. They are still doing that today. And I actually caught up with Dave Ryan, Fallon, and the rest of the KDWB crew to talk about this T-Swift phenomenon. Take a look. Right now, I'm going to call it a name of somebody who signed up online on TayDWB.com. Taylor Swift fans are hoping that karma is on their side. Name for this hour is Lauren Melcher. Is that who we have on the phone? Hi, yes it is. Yes, congratulations! Yay! Oh my God! Thank you. The Dave Ryan Show on 101.3 KDWB has been the place to score last minute free tickets to Taylor Swift's sold out shows. Because of the scarcity of the tickets, and the value of the tickets and what people are paying and how huge it is. Um, yeah, we are, we become TayDWB. Dave tells me giving away tickets for concerts is nothing new, but in his more than three decades at the station, he's never seen anything quite like this. I remember some of the big ones, um, uh, Paul McCartney, uh, the Eagles, I remember standing outside of the Metrodome and the Eagles played at the Metrodome. And it, those were huge concerts, Rolling Stones concerts, but none has been as massive as the Taylor Swift tour. Why do you think that is? What is she doing right? I think she's one of a kind, honestly. I think there is nobody else that covers um, all the bases, checks all the boxes, whether it's, I mean, great music that everybody knows, new music, Everybody is fascinated with her and her personal life. Dave's co-host Fallon says the Taylor phenomenon is real. I don't think we've ever had this many people go to our website for anything ever to sign up to become a verified fan, um, setting appointments, reminding friends, people listening and texting friends in case they didn't hear their name mentioned so that they can claim their ticket. Contrary to popular belief, radio DJs do in fact have to buy tickets to shows. I bought my tickets. I waited in the six hour queue to get my tickets. I did get tickets for both nights, so I can't afford my mortgage this month. That's unfortunate. If I could borrow <laughs> some money, at least that'd be great, yeah. So. And if you're going, Fallon says embrace the chaos. Good luck finding parking. Um, good luck getting around downtown. It's going to be high, like just, I think, positive energy. I think it's going to be colorful and beautiful with pride, and I think it's going to be filled with just excitement. Like the most excitement the Twin Cities has probably seen ever. It'll absolutely be one of those shows that you will remember probably the most minute details in 30 years and you'll say you remember when Taylor Swift came here back in 2023 grandma was there. Grandma was there. No, Fallon, sorry, you can't have any money. I can give you a friendship bracelet, though. I still have a few left to hand out. Uh, what's cool, though, is Drake, actually from KDWB, one of the hosts. He's over there interviewing people right now. So it's a big event. They're giving away tickets on 101.3 KDWB all morning long. And I think this afternoon as well, they still have a few left. And they're playing T-Swift music all day, nonstop, around the clock. So people are going to have to get used to it, Jason. One cool thing, though, I should mention, uh, so... T-Swift usually brings out surprise guests when she goes on concert tours. The two guesses, so Fallon thinks that it's going to be Bon Iver because he's from Eau Claire, he's somewhat local, and she has two songs with him. Dave Ryan thinks it's going to be Charlie Puth, who has a concert here Sunday at the Armory. Who knows, though? Who knows? You have to wait and see. She does two surprise songs every single night, so only those who have tickets, these lucky folks right here, will find out.